Hello and welcome back to AMBV. I'm Casper and today we're going to be going through and wrapping up as many projects on all of the cars as I can before I have to fly out to SEMA. With this being the last weekend I have before SEMA and two major deadlines for the Red Z and the White Z, I'm trying to get as many projects done as possible. The white Z needs to go back to Portland to have the engine builder look at it, which means anything I need off the car to work on, I need to pull today. And that includes the seats and the steering wheel. The red car needs to go into Salem to have an exhaust made for it. I'm going to be swapping on a header before it goes to the shop so that all they have to do is fabricate the rest of the exhaust in stainless. But in order to do that, I need to pull the intake manifold, the existing exhaust manifold, and install the new gasket and header. While I'm at it, I'm also hoping to replace the water pump, alternator, any of the other old fuel hoses that are still on the car, and the fan belt. So if I can get all of these projects done in time, I may even move over and work on the 55 Buick a little bit. So let's see how much I have time for. Well, so much for the basic plans. It looks like too many of the bolts are extremely rusted and I'm just too tired of dealing with this overly convoluted routing for the fuel system. So at this point, I think I'm just gonna jump forward in the plan and go ahead and delete this fuel system and put in a single fuel rail. And then I'm gonna go ahead and install the retrofit electronic kit for this car. So since I just ordered that today, obviously I don't have it. So in the meantime, I'm just going to work on getting all of the unnecessary parts off of here and getting the manifolds pulled from the engine. None of my projects have gone as I intended. So the 280Z behind me has a lot more issues than I thought. The actual running condition of the car was good. Unfortunately, in my effort to replace the exhaust manifold, I found that none of the hardware was salvageable. The exhaust manifold had essentially welded itself to the EGR bung to the point where none of the tips and tricks for getting it to come apart worked. And when I finally gave up and put a giant pipe wrench on it, it simply crushed itself flat and wouldn't come out. So I pulled the exhaust manifold finally, tossed it in a box. All of the hardware on the exhaust broke, so that's all scrapped. I don't really care because I'm having a new exhaust fabricated and I figured that would be the problem. So I pulled the intake manifold, we cleaned up the surfaces. The intake manifold also has the issue with the EGR 
needing to be dealt with, so I am deleting the system. I will take all the parts and put them in the box for somebody in the future to deal with, but I don't need to deal with it at the moment. The car just needs to run. We'll figure it out later. So I'll just block that off and plug the tube and wait until I can find, hopefully somebody at some point will make another EGR tube for this car. Right now, no one has one available. I also got the alternator installed and the water pump, so those are sorted out. As soon as I get another shipment of parts, I'm just going to leapfrog this project forward. This project will now be getting new injectors, new fuel rail. It will be getting set up with an external fuel pressure regulator. We will be moving it over to the EFI retrofit kit from Zcar Depot that will replace all the sensors. It will give us the new computer and the new touchscreen setup, and it will delete the flappy box entirely. I'll also move it over to a cone air filter simply because the original intake system seems a little cumbersome to deal with, and I'm not entirely sure that it's not fairly restrictive. So I figured this was a good opportunity with a new computer that's gonna be learning anyway to try another style of intake. Everything I'm taking off the car will simply go into the box for storage and safekeeping until I decide if I will restore it at one point or until the next owner has the option to put it back on. Ultimately, all of the parts should be showing up in the next week or so, but I will be flying out for SEMA, so I'm not sure when I will actually get them installed and get an update on this vehicle. The white car did get wrapped up and it did get to Portland, so we should be hearing something from the shop in the next week or two about what the heck the smoking issue is, whether or not I've simply had really bad luck with turbos, or whether there is another problem, and hopefully get that car back to me to where I can finish it up. I already have the dashboard over at an interior shop being dealt with, and I need to order some seats, so I'm really hoping they give me an update in the very near future, but I have a feeling the red car will keep me busy for quite a while. So thank you all for watching this video. Hopefully something was interesting to you. If you like or want to subscribe, there's buttons for that. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.